as a physician who takes care of Medi-Cal patients, what a difference it makes to have a patient who has coverage, Medi-Cal, for all the flaws that it has. And I know it's been brought up that there are a lot of doctors who don't take Medi-Cal, and there are problems. In fact, this legislature is working uh, with the administration to try to see what we can do to correct some of those in terms of bureaucracy and other things. And we're having oversight hearings, and we're having many conversations about that. But even with its problems, still in the end, it's much better to have someone on Medi-Cal than have them uninsured. Uh, as a doctor, I certainly know that from seeing patients that I take care of. Uh, we know that from many research studies that have looked at the impact of having coverage on the person's health. Not only in terms of getting prevention, if when someone doesn't have a usual source of care, if they're not in the system, if we exclude them from the system by keeping them uninsured, we do not have the opportunity to better manage their illness. We do not have the opportunity to better pre either prevent things or to try to defer much more expensive treatment because eventually someone will show up in that emergency room, they will show up in the hospital, they will show up in the intensive care unit. Now, so I think that this is a very important step forward for the health of our, uh, our community of Californians. It's going to help out education because children are going to get health care so they're not distracted in school because of their health care problems. It's going to help public safety because public safety has to deal with the fact that when someone doesn't have mental health coverage, that care, that they have to deal with someone who has a mental, that, that is not under control in the community. And uh, we, how about that? It's also, it's going to be something that's going to bring jobs, money and jobs here to the state of California. It's estimated about two and a half billion to four billion a year, creating almost 100,000 jobs here in the state of California. And those 100,000 people are going to be buying food and products from other people in California, so there's going to be a magnifying effect as well. So aside from the fact that we have to fulfill a need that we definitely can see here in our state, if you just visit an emergency room or clinic, it's also going to bring economic uh, stimulus as well to our, our state. So therefore, I urge you to vote aye on AB1. Thank you.